There's nothing to talk about. You don't have cancer, it's not true. Cancer? Perry! Perry, come on, pick up. Hi, it's Perry, sorry, can't... Hi, it's Perry, sorry, can't... I should have just kept my mouth shut. That wasn't how it was supposed to happen at all. Hey, listen, you did the right thing in telling her. Not least because her and Adira is about to chuck each other in the water. I better go and find her. And can you get some rest, please? You've just started chemo, you're going to be exhausted. Thanks, Steve. What kind is it? The cancer? It's lymphoma, Hodgkin's. But I have already started treatment. And I'm a fighter, so I'm gonna be okay. I'm so sorry, Juliet. You know, I, I watched my mum go through cancer. I just can't believe you've been dealing with this on your own. I haven't been alone. James and Steve found out, and Mizba's just been amazing. And what about your mum? I guess I've been shielding her from it. But now that I've blurred it out in broad daylight in front of you and Perry and Brooke, I... I should probably tell her too. Do it now. for answering me 20 odd missed calls. I just want to be on my own over the worst Christmas ever. Worse than having cancer. That was horrible what you did back there to Julia. Steve, all she's done for the past few months is lie and lie and lie. This is probably no different. Listen to me. I'm going to be rude. I need you to listen to me, OK? Look, sit down. I've known about this for a while. So you need to hear me when I tell you that Julia is sick. I started a chemo yesterday. This is happening. Just know that girl needs all the support she can get right now. Merry uh, Christmas. Is, uh, is Juliet here? Uh, no, not yet. What, is everything all right? Oh, say, Merry Christmas. You saying for dinner? We're having guillotine of goose. No, it's ballantine of goose. Oh. <clears throat> As you can see, our first Christmas without mother is a little different. Well, thanks for the offer, but we have got food on the go back at ours. Mm. Plus, I bought a Lucas a second hand video game for Christmas and I promised I'd help him play it. Oh, speaking of which, I've got to tell you what I got the kids for Christmas, didn't I? So I've got these vouchers for this brand new spa in Chester where I can get like nice treatments and go on hikes. No, no, that's what I got them. I heard a discount code advertised on... Um... Romeo's radio station? No, so did I! Oh, James, let me give him it. It's the first time in forever I've been able to afford a proper gift for Christmas, and now it's going to be overshadowed by you. Yeah, but I, I wanted to make up for all the worry I've put them through this year. Ah, oh, fine. Just as long as I give him it first, so you look like the copycat. Right, grub is nearly ready. I'm going to go freshen up. See you later, love. What were you saying, Virginia? She's told Perry and Nadira about a diagnosis. And listen, Perry didn't exactly take it well, so you might want to check on her. I just thought you should know. It wasn't that bad, was it? All right, so the braised cabbage was a bit dodged, but, you know, considering I don't even know what braised means. <laughs> no, it was good, Mum. Really? Yeah, it's delicious. Then why are we all so miserable? <coughs> I'm just here for more support. Julia has something she needs to tell you. It's Romeo calling from Spain. <clears throat> Hi, love! Merry Christmas! Hey, family. 
I can't really hear you. The uh, signal was quite bad. In Teresa, I'm just about to go down to the beach. How was Mum's cooking? Amazing. What? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Don't really miss that. <laughs> Uh, look, I can't speak for long. I just wanted to say I love you and Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry oh, Christmas. Christmas. Bye. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Love to Teresa. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> right, uh, I'll get the plates. Now, sit down. Sit down. What are you going to tell me? It's time. A few weeks ago, I ended up in hospital for various reasons. And yesterday, I I started treatment, my first treatment, for um, stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a cancer of the blood. I said, leave! No, Jules. Oh, you. OK, so just let me get my head around this. So, you were diagnosed with stage three. Lymphoma. And you didn't tell me. It's that chemotherapy and you didn't tell me. <laughs> You've told not just one but two of your ex-girlfriend and you still didn't tell me. Well, I'm telling you now. <sighs> I haven't been that bad a mum that you can't talk to me. It's a stupid question, of course, I've been a terrible mum, but I have tried, Jules, I've really tried. But now I thought I've not been there for you, the thought of losing you. Mum, <laughs> oh, please, please don't go. You okay? Yeah. I'm good. I just think maybe we should all try and cheer up a bit because it's Christmas. How are you being so calm about all of this? It's not that I'm calm. It's just... I've fought for everything in my life. My relationship with my mum, and then Mac, and school, and drugs, and then everything with you and Perry. But none of that broke me. So why should cancer? I just need to keep going. You truly are amazing. You know that? Talia. <laughs> I better go soon. Leave you and your family to it. Plus, I cannot wait to take this off. <laughs> I mean, Christmas is fun and everything, but those don't look good on anyone. <laughs> you know where I am, yeah. Thank you. Actually. You sure that's it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go lie down. But um Thanks for washing up.
Huh. Perfect timing. Uh, Juliet's having a nap. You feeling calmer now? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I just... I shouldn't have got so upset in front of her. Just... My kids are the only good thing I've ever done, and... You know, it's just taken me so long to get my backside in gear, to finally be a proper mum, and then... Maybe we should just concentrate on having a good Christmas. For her. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, about the gift faux pas, I was thinking you should give them this part of our chat. That way, I can give mine to you. Assuming, of course, I can be your plus one. That way, we can all go together, four of us. Something to look forward to when she's been in this thing. Right, I'm going to see if she's up. Maybe now is a good time to open the presents. Oh, finally. Cool. Never understood why you poshos don't wake up on Christmas morning and just open your gifts. <sighs> Jules? What's up? I think she's gone. Donna Marie, I found her. People are worried, you know. Jules, you shouldn't be alone at Christmas. Wouldn't have thought you cared. You didn't even believe I was sick. I'm sorry. Things have just been so complicated between us. And I guess out of pure shock, I just... There's no excuse. But Steve gave me a good talking to and made me realise how selfish I was being. So come on. Now it's your time to explain. Why'd you run away? I'm scared. And I know that I act like I'm tough and unfazed, but I'm not. And I don't think that I can do this. It's gonna be okay. Oh, come here. They've got you. 